Grouping discrete data. Discrete data can only take exact values and it is collected by counting, for example, the number of people on a bus or the number of trees in a garden. If you have a lot of data, it's sometimes easier to group the data. For example, Daisy is collecting data on the number of trees in each garden on her street. She groups the data like this. Notice that there are no gaps between the groups. The groups need to have no overlap so that each piece of data can only fit into one group. In the first garden, she counts five trees. This is in the group five to nine, so she records this with a tally. Let's take a look at an example question. A class of students take a test. They are given a score out of 30 marks. Group the data into a tally chart. To group the data into a tally chart, we first of all need to draw a table like so. Then we need to decide on appropriate groupings. In this case, we can use the following groups. Now we have our groupings, we can begin to fill the tally column in by placing a tally mark in each group a value falls in. For example, for the first number, 23, we need to place a mark in the 21 to 25 group. Complete this process for all the remaining numbers. Now we have tallied our data, we can complete the frequency column of our table. Each tally mark represents one, so the frequency for the 11 to 15 group is one. The frequency for the 16 to 20 group is six. The frequency for the 21 to 25 is five, and the frequency for the final group is eight. Now we have grouped the data, we can see the students' scores more clearly. These frequencies can also be represented graphically, for example, in the form of a bar chart.